Okay, today we're going to be uh, replacing a battery and this is a 2002 uh, Cadillac Escalade. Um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to remove this bracket that covers the top of the battery. We're going to take out that 10 millimeter screw there. We're going to take out this 10 millimeter screw over here. We're just going to relocate this bracket out of the way. We're going to remove that bolt right down in here. It's a 13 millimeter bolt. We're going to take that bolt out right there. And um, then what we're going to do so we can save the memory in the vehicle without losing the memory, we're going to connect up inside the car to save the memory on the computer before we disconnect the battery. So uh, let me get started and I'll show you how it goes. We're just going to take this and we're going to relocate the bracket to the side like that. And we're going to take out that, that bolt I told you about that's down here. We want this to hold down and hold the battery in position. That's a, uh, a 13 millimeter bolt. We're just going to remove that and take that bracket out of the way. Once you break it loose, you can pretty much turn it out by hand. That's the bolt. This is the whole down. We're going to be reusing that now too. Um, now remember what I told you about the uh, the uh, saving the memory. The way we're going to save the memory is we go inside the vehicle. We use a jump start box. We use a uh, cable that actually has a double prong. Goes into the uh, cigarette lighter or the power port right here. This plugs into the battery jump start box. And now by Disconnecting the battery, we're going to feed power back through the car to uh, to uh, save the memory on the uh, on the uh, the radio and and the uh, the keys, the programming of the seats. So you turn the key to the uh, to the on position, leave it in the on position, and then we'll come back outside and disconnect the battery. Okay. Whenever you disconnect the battery, you always disconnect your negative cable first. Because if you try to disconnect your positive, and this was to touch into the fender, you would have an arc. Because the, the fender and everything made of metal on a car is negative, and that's positive. So disconnect your negative first. Just relocate that out of the way. Disconnect your, your positive. Be careful with the positive because you're feeding power back through it from the uh, from the jump start box. Right, and we can take the battery out. Put the battery in. Once you've got that installed, we're going to reconnect our cables. We're going to connect our positive cable on first and tighten it in. Doesn't have to be too tight, you just have to get it fairly snug. 
we're going to reconnect our negative cable. Always screw them in by hand. You don't screw it in with the wrench until after you have it caught already by hand. All right. So we got caught. We got the negative and the positive on. Um, we're going to put our bracket back down in the bottom now. We're going to reinstall the bolt down on the bottom that holds the hole down in place. Catch it by hand. And then we tighten down the hole down. Tighten everything up. And then we just have to tighten the other bolt right here. That's it. We're going to reattach the cover over the top like that. And now we did everything correctly. We're going to go inside and we should be able to start it up. That's it. We're all set. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.